definitely a hot day. Yeah, it should be good. Well, it's a hot day. What's up everyone, welcome to a new video. Today's really exciting, so I'm gonna be showing you a nice little effect that you can do to create. What's up, puppy? So you made your first YouTube video debut. Just kidding, you're on a vlog. But today we're gonna be checking out a cool little stop motion trail effect. It's pretty cool and it looks like this. Whenever you move around, it will create a trail. And the cool thing is you can change the frame rate that you want that flicker or that trail to happen. So first click that like button because it seriously helps out the channel and I really appreciate your feedback down in the comments. Let's check out what this effect looks like. I mean, that was pretty cool. The best thing is it's super simple to use. All you have to do is the posturize or posturize time effect within Premiere Pro. But this video would not be possible without my friends at Skillshare. Well, what is Skillshare? Well, it's an online community where you can learn just about anything and everything to fuel your curiosity and creativity relating to filmmaking, photography, design, literally anything. When I'm at home, when since I'm stuck at home quite a bit right now, I'm always on Skillshare trying to find something new. With Skillshare, I'm able to explore what I want to learn. And at less than $10 a month, Skillshare is a no-brainer. And I want you guys to see the benefits of Skillshare as well. So the first 500 to click the link in the description down below will actually get two free months of Skillshare Premium for free. They actually have workshops that you can join, like this one from Dan Mace, who's gonna hopefully show me how to tell my story through a video. Huge shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Because Skillshare, Skillshare is awesome. All right, so now we're in Premiere Pro. And the intro video, I was using all of these clips from ArtGrid, which I'm going to be doing a video on that soon. Because it's a great way to get free stock footage. In order to do this effect, you have to understand what the effect is. So if you go to the Effects tab and type in Posturize, you'll see a stylized posterize effect and a posterize time effect. If you just drag on posterize, it actually manipulates the colors and that's not what we want. We want to drag on posterize time. What this does, it, it will actually manipulate the frame rate. So this clip that we're working with is currently shot at 24 FPS. Now, if I leave it at 24, you'll see that it looks normal. But what happens if I drag this down to like nine? Well instantly you'll see it looks a little choppy. And while that doesn't look good, we can actually use this to create the effect. So what we wanna do is actually delete our posterized time effect and understand how to create it. So the best thing to do is copy your video layer that you are working on on top of the video layer. So I'm gonna do that by holding Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac and just click that video layer and drag it up. Now you'll have two video layers. And what you wanna do is drag on the posterized time effect to the top video layer. And then once you drag it on, manipulate your frame rate down to something that looks good. I found that anywhere from eight to 15 looks decent. And now I'm always changing this to get different effects. Now once you have that posterized time, click on your top video layer and go up to the blend mode up here under opacity and change that to lighten. As soon as you change it to lighten, it will instantly create that effect. Now it looks pretty dope. And if you want to manipulate this even further, you can change that light and blend mode to like overlay to get some really unique effects. But now playing with different overlays gives you different looks. So keep that in mind when you are creating this effect. I found that lighten works the best. Now the cool thing about this effect is you can just copy your video layers on top and you can just copy that posterized time layer over to all your videos if you want it to look similar. Now sometimes in the beginning example, I would just chop up this top video layer and make it only have that uh, stop motion effect for certain points of the video. So if you're editing to audio, you can kind of start to see how it will look a little bit more interesting. Now this is currently at 12, but let's bring it all the way down to six right here. 
So yeah, if you bring it down to six, you'll see that it gets really choppy. But if you are editing to a beat, sometimes that'll be pretty cool. And in order to create the trail effect, all you have to do is click on your top video layer, and again, change the blend mode to lighten. And then you'll instantly get that trail effect. It looks pretty cool when you chop it up a little bit. The best thing about this is you can always change the duration of it or manipulate it however you want by just cutting down your top video layer. In the beginning example, I did a couple of the overlay features, and then I also did some blending. So if you want to transition your clips, just have your next clip below hand and just add a simple cross dissolve. Say we want to transition this clip into this clip right here. In order to do that, all I'm gonna do is drag my top video layer with the posterized time on there, and then once it goes into my next clip, you'll see that since I have that light and blend mode, it will start to show through. So the fun thing is you can just right click on the end and select apply default transition and then drag your cross dissolve however far you would like it and play that back. As you see, we have a simple transition that's using the posterized time effect. So yeah, sometimes it looks good, sometimes it doesn't. I don't really like how it looks on eight, so I'm gonna click my top video layer and change this to 13 and see what that looks like. So yeah, 13 looks a little bit better. I found that if there's a lot of motion on your subject, it works better than if there's motion in the background. So let's find one more clip where I can find that motion on my subject. So right here looks pretty good. We have some motion going on. And let's drag that up. Again, apply posterized time, change this to 12 this time, and change the blend mode to lighten. And check that out. So as you see, some examples look a little bit better. If you have little to no motion, oop. So if you have little to no motion in your background, it looks really good because your character actually pops out. That's pretty much it. It's super simple to do and honestly, I like it. I like effects that are simple and easy because it makes editing fun and exciting. Speaking of editing, Give me some tips because like I'm always trying to come up with new ideas and it's just hard because I never know what I want to film and then it just kind of comes out the day that I decide to film something. So if you have any ideas for future tutorials, let me know down below. You guys can also join my Discord that I have. The link will be in the description down below. There we share our videos, we share future tutorial ideas, and then I give you guys updates and inside peeks into what I'm working on. So I'd love to see you guys there. But again, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hit that like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing because I'm going to be making some more stuff in the future. Now, I have a lot of stuff to work on on my house. Check out the vlog. It'll be linked down below if you want to see some behind the scenes. But it's coming together. I'm stoked because the studio looks amazing. As always, I'll see you guys next time.